questions directly into that camera. Okay. Right. Oh my God. Ooh. So, hold on one second, just turning off the fan. And William, go. Perfect. So, a pleasure to be with you guys again. It was, I saw you last for the for the first one in London. Sorry, I couldn't be there with you, but thank you for taking the time. That's okay. Thanks for having us. Are you okay, man? Where are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> Missed you guys. What, why Aww. couldn't you be here? Oh, yeah. I know. We but, miss you. So let's talk about let's talk about the film. Okay. Um, yeah. If you if you want to. Yeah, I, I would like to. So, um, I, I think that the, this film has a really dark turn in tone, and I don't think that's felt anywhere as acutely as with your characters, um, in, in particular Queenie and Jacob Kowalski. So what was that turn in tone like for you from your perspective? I think it was a really interesting challenge uh, because in the first film we had so much um, support and we were welcomed so warmly this these two characters and then you know this this film is is a very different set of circumstances and so like you know you want to you want to maintain the uh, um, essence that that you introduced to people in the first one but then also how to let these characters grow and and be on this this quite complex path and like um it was it was a challenge but it was really it was really big and and deep and interesting as an as an actor and as a human being too just thinking about the archetypes and what these stories represent and how it at least affected my life and how I've um, had similar, I mean, not similar in terms of a wizarding thing, but like how metaphorically the certain certain things really resonated with me as a person. You so got real think. magic. You got the real stuff. I think it's good, man. You don't want an easy journey. You want the, you want the lovers to be stir at, you know, you want them to go through the ringer and you want that, that makes for a, a nice, long, exciting uh, experience. <laughs> Did you feel that you had to consciously tone down the, the humor? Oh, did I have to consciously tone it down? Um, Inter yeah. Yeah, you know, what's interesting is uh, the first movie was, there was a lot of me, like, being chased by <laughs> giant creatures and me being, like, in awe of stuff. And um, and uh, and I my aesthetic is always going toward comedy, trying to find the comedy in moments. But, yeah, this one... Um, a lot less physical comedy, a lot more of me playing um, the lover in pursuit of uh, my lady. And um, and so that was really fun, man. He's growing up. He's, he's, it's really it's a gift from the universe to, for an actor to be able to play a part that actually can continue on and, and become more complex. And I think that's... Uh, that's what the audience wants. You don't want to see the same thing over and over again. Do ya, William? Yep. Um, what was the most fulfilling part about making this film? And I, Callum, for it was you, it was the first time as well. So, what did you get out of this the most? Um, yeah, you know, I, being asked to join this world, this world that I've been a fan of since I was a kid, um, was an honor. And to join such a fantastic cast and crew. And, J.K. Rowling's a living legend, you know, David Yates, David Heyman. Been, well, David Heyman's been part of this team since the beginning, but this is David Yates' sixth film. Um, and to be part of something where you can just completely trust your director, like, that's it, you just hand it all over, was, 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 a, was a dream come true. Um, uh, and he creates this intimate environment on set. You know, it's a huge, huge movie, but uh, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like a small independent one. And, it's completely relaxing. And one of the things that I was most surprised by was um, how collaborative, collaborative it was um, in the way that if something didn't necessarily feel right, he'd be like, yeah, try it. Play with, that, play with this, play with that. Um, you got a great story about an aggressive teapot, which <laughs> they CGI'd in later, uh, which was Alison's idea. And it's such a collaboration. It's a, it's a really hmm. beautiful environment to go to work. Hmm. William, this is your last question. Yeah, do you feel that you each have, obviously you don't have the, I, I guess, the, the history that characters like 
like Newt, like Dumbledore, like Grindelwald have. So do you feel that you have more freedom as actors to develop these characters yourself? Or do you find that when you spoke to Jo, that she has an equally long biography available in her head for each of these characters? We have a lot of freedom. We have a ton of freedom, yeah. Yeah. Uh, from the minute rehearsal started on the first movie, uh, I was kind of testing things and seeing, is this Shakespeare or can we play around a little? Mm-hmm. And they were so open to improv and, and adding and, and uh, because I think they, they knew that they were creating these characters along with us as well. They didn't have the novels as a reference, so they were looking to us to really bring them to life. And uh, is that how you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, I feel like very, very, it, it's been something that I've had to learn over time because I do constantly feel like, is this, is this right, is this right? But uh, Joe gave me the note early on, trust your instincts, you know her. And, you know, that's such a, a gift to, to have that room to be able to really develop somebody. I mean, it really gives you a sense of ownership and a sense of freedom in your acting where you can really just like take risks and go with your own intuition. And, and that's like a, a, I mean, I really appreciate that. Well, I also think that these guys are like elite people, you know, that everyone here is at the top of their game across the board. And it should be like that always for an actor. I mean, it's, um, what's the guy who played Hannibal, actor, sorry, I've completely. Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins, when he played Nixon, you know, he didn't do an impersonation. And that's a real person. The, the job is to find the essence and then work through that. And that only helps the film, and I think that's what everyone does. There is that freedom to it. I miss you, William. I'm concerned you're not here. Call me. Call us. I, w- I will, you, I promise William. I will. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. He did just Thank call you. us. No, no, but call us and make sure you're okay. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you.